Hey, welcome back, everybody. Episode 3 is officially here. I know I'm late. I apologize. If you remember last time, we did a bunch of plowing on the field. Now we've got to get some lime on the ground, hopefully get it seeded. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back in two seconds. finished getting some of this lime unloaded. I think I bought way too many. I bought eight pallets. I don't think we're going to use it. Whatever we don't use, we'll put it in storage. We'll have it for next time. I don't think we're going to be able to do any more fields this year. It's already September 1st. We're going to try to get wheat in the ground. Uh, I think with seasons on, what is it, September, October, uh, you can plant wheat. So that's what we're going to focus on today. Let's make sure... I, Try not to screw this up. Anything with forks or, you know, anything with a skid steer or front end loader or forklift, I kind of struggle. I've dropped my fair share of pallets. But let me see if I can get this unloaded in a timely manner. So I don't think I'm going to edit this part out. So it could take a while. This It could be the rest of the video. I don't know. See, we're already on our first struggle. So let's go ahead and push that forward. Make them nice and neat, all lined up. rest of these off the truck uh bring over the lime spreader the lime spreader is pretty cool it's uh it's it's a little older and the cool part was it was right in the mod hub so i didn't even have to uh i didn't even have to search any of the mod websites 90 percent of what i use i find it from king mods website anyway i find that to be a little more i don't know what the word is safe maybe um but anyway i'm gonna finish getting these unloaded, move the truck out of the way, grab the spreader. You can actually see the spreader. Get all these lined up here. Park this old Massey Ferguson. I'm in love with this skid steer, by the way. Everything I've used it for. I've used it to move logs. I've used it to now move pallets. I'd like to get the shredder or mulcher attachment for brush and stumps like and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and fill this thing up. How cool is that? I like it. I don't know if you would spread lime. I'm sure back in the day they didn't have a choice. But I don't know if you would spread lime with a tractor that doesn't have a cab. It seems to me be breathing in some particles, get it all over you. I don't know. I've never been on a real farm before. Keep in mind, we do have both fields. We have the small one in the front that is already here when you spawn into your fresh save on No Man's Land. And then we have the one that we created out back, the one where we did all that mowing. We used that really cool baler uh, with the notch trailer from Denise Farms. So we'll line both of those fields. Um, get some... Hopefully, by the end of this episode, we will have wheat in the ground. And then we can focus on maybe a little bit of forestry next time. We'll see how it goes. We have the firewood mod, so we can sell some pallets of firewood and make a little bit of money during the winter. I don't know how much of that I'm going to actually show on stream. There's a lot. There's a lot of winter, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That is a lot of lime dust. See what I mean? I don't know that you would do this type of job without a cab. I think it would be very dusty, very messy. But that's how they did it back then. If you think about it, back in the days of no, you know, I mean, they spread this stuff by hand. So, but we got the front done. Let's go focus on the back side. That field out back's got a little bit of funky shape, so we'll get that finished, and then we'll take the truck, we'll go get some fertilizer and some seed, and uh, we'll probably hook up the trailer. We're definitely going to need that to bring home the cedar, so 
I really do want to see if the new expansion where you have the attachment, the jackhammer attachment to get rid of uh, big boulders and stuff in the field. I want to see if it'll work on that big, uh, big chunk in the middle of our field. I don't know why I decided to go around it, but even on my live streams, for anybody that watches my live streams or anybody that watches any of my content, when I make a big field, I like to have some kind of obstacle. I think it's, I don't know, more realistic that way. You know, if you see a farm, not all fields are going to be square and, you know, perfect or rectangle. They're going to have some kind of weird shape. You're going to have trees. You're going to have to get around or, you know, big pieces of ledge or whatever the case may be. So I do tend to keep that stuff in the middle of the field. Maybe I like a challenge. Maybe I like the obstacles. I don't know. I love the sound of this tractor, but I, I love the animation of the lime in Farm Sim 22 as well. That big plume. But I, I, I do believe in real life that big plume of lime dust is a lot bigger than what we see. But then you do have to remind yourself, it is it is a game. So we can nitpick all we want. It's it's a game at the end of the day. After a quick fill up, get right back to it. I kind of like to do a double. I want to get this all straightened up so we have straight lines instead of this, you know, fall in the tree line. But during the winter, I think this is the area that we'll focus on. We'll try to get all these trees out of here. I don't know about all of them, but keep in mind when we first start out doing forestry, a lot of what we're gonna, just gonna do is by hand. If you look at the bank account, I really don't have enough money to buy something like a tree processor. So we're gonna have to cut these up by hand, so. And again, I don't know how much of that we, we're gonna show on this series, the struggle series. I don't know if somebody wants to watch 20 minutes of forestry, especially by hand. We'll see how it goes. If, if you prefer it, let me know in the comments if you wanna see, you know, some forestry by hand for those of you that have been enjoying the struggle farm. I don't think anybody wants to watch this in full, guys. Uh, this is a long process, so why don't we go ahead and why don't we pause for our first time elapsed portion of the video.
Another step in the process is done. This is probably one of my favorite things to do. But we've got to go get some fertilizer. We've got to get us some seed. Let's fire up this old truck. Hook up to the trailer. We're going to bring home our uh, cedar. And we're going to bring home some fertilizer and some seed all in one trip. Love the sound of this old truck. Uh, I don't know if I had talked about this before. This is uh, an AR frame, rigid frame project. I'll get the name for you guys by the next time. We're quite a ways away from the shop, so let's speed this up. Hey, there we are, pulling in that iconic shop of No Man's Land. We're going to pull in past it and uh, do a quick UV. There it is. I found us a case of a cedar. So we can get some wheat in the ground. The season's on. You can plant wheat uh, in September and October. So It'll give us something to do. There we go. Let's tie everything down real quick. I don't want to lose anything. I've been known to do that as well. There. Let's get this all back to the farm. Get some seeds in the ground. This is what I've been waiting for. This is why we did all that mowing. It's why we did all the bales. It's why we pl plowed all these fields. So we can finally get something in the ground. That old case planter looks pretty good. Cedar planter, don't matter. Call whatever you want. I'm not picky. Love the drive. I love the views. I'm sure it'll get old. But I refuse to add shop delivery. We're going to do all this by hand. Well, I'm sure you guys are asking, how'd you get the pallets and the cedar on the truck? I paid the guys at the shop to load it for me. But we're going to unload it. Give me an excuse to fire up that old massy skid steer again. I love the way this thing sounds. The massy Bergs in 7-Eleven. Comes with some forks. Comes with silage forks. I'm hoping the skid steer attachment for the um, the mulcher for like, the brush. That's one thing we gotta do. We gotta take a take a day, take a video, get rid of all these bushes that are around the farm. Start cleaning up some areas so we can maybe add some some more storage kind of running out of storage that'll be future we're not going to add much storage with four thousand seven hundred and seventy seven dollars on me seventy eight dollars not going to add much with that but i'm thinking you get through the winter save up some of that money from firewood and trees start with some chickens eggs sell good We'll have plenty to do after the winter. Getting through the winter, surviving, that's gonna be a struggle. That case, that case cedar looks good, man. I don't know how accurate it is as far as the time error. But eventually, We'll have a good looking farm here. Said so we'll get rid of all the brush, update some of these storage. Why don't we start making money? That just looks good together, man. Just looks good together. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. I didn't test this planner. Oh, it's working. How we got? We got wheat in the ground. Perfect. It's gonna be a big job. Remember, we got both fields. We got the little front one, we got the rear one. But what do you guys say we uh say we kick things up a little? Let's speed this process up.
was about to say another job done, and then I remembered we have the bigger field in the back. Oh, it's such a big field. I wish I would have got a bigger planner. But you know what? We got what we got. Well, maybe we'll upgrade in the future. I don't know. Maybe when we start buying enough equipment to justify or have bigger fields, we could justify building bigger equipment. But right now, we're just starting out. We're struggling. We're broke. We're broke farmers in the middle of nowhere. All we're doing is trying to survive. I think our first winter is going to be the hardest, but I, I, think we'll, I think we'll survive. I'm excited about it. But I don't want to. I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to think too far ahead. But we'll get there. We'll get there together.
And we're done. Another episode in the books. Another day on the struggle farm. Finally, we in the ground. Almost broke. We're headed into winter. I got a feeling we're going to sell or try to sell a lot of firewood. But I'm up for the challenge. Hope you guys are too. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hope you had as much fun as I did. Hope you all have a fantastic, fantastic rest of the week. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, stay safe, look after one another. I'll be kind to yourselves. You deserve it. Much love, everybody. Peace.